This time on Tales from the Minibus, we look at the Identity Wars. Identity Wars Part 1, Spider-Man. In an alternate universe, the amazing Spider is loved by all, even the head of the Daily Bugle. And he's super strong. Meanwhile, Deadpool and some mercs are trying to steal some portal. The Hulk shows up, and they smash through the portal and go to the other side. In this world, Spider-Man learns more about the Amazing Spider and how even the Rhino is afraid of him. The Amazing Spider has even defeated Thanos in his universe. Deadpool and Death Wish are having the time of their lives. Spider-Man finds out that Uncle Ben didn't die in this universe, and so he goes to visit him, only to find out he's been drugged. And Uncle Ben has been gathering Spider-Men from other dimensions to suck their power to keep making the Amazing Spider strong. He tricks Uncle Ben into attacking the Amazing Spider and escapes. The Hulk is enjoying this world, and Bruce Banner hasn't changed. Deadpool and Deathwish are getting along fine. Spider-Man just wants to go home. Identity Wars Part 2, Deadpool. We have a flash forward in which a man named Deathmask has Deadpool pinned and blows him up in the middle of the ocean. We flash back to when Deadpool and Deathwish first met and it was magical. Death Mask shows up and kills Death Wish, making Deadpool want vengeance. Bruce Banner and Spider-Man can't really figure out how to get back to their own dimension. Meanwhile, Deadpool tracks down Death Mask, attacks him, blows him up, and switches clothes with him, ordering several villains to blow up things, including Death Mask himself dressed as Deadpool. Spider-Man catches him and quickly finds out he is dead. The two of them embrace as they both realize they want to leave. Meanwhile, we find out where the Hulk is in the infernal fires of hell. <laughs> Identity Wars Part 3, The Hulk. Evil Hulk is in hell, but he's crawling his way out and making it back to Earth. And he's looking for Bruce Banner. He tries to find him, and Doc Strange and Spider-Man save the day. Doc Strange is gonna help Deadpool Spider-Man try to figure out a way to get the portal back up and running. The Hulk has become the Hulk again and fights the evil version of himself in this universe. Eventually he wins and they get the machine up and running. The evil Spider-Man and evil Hulk are back in hell. When the team makes it back to New York, it's of course under attack as per usual. And they assemble and do what they do best. This story was actually pretty cool because it was told among three different annuals that had come out in the order Spider-Man, Deadpool, and the Hulk. And so uh, you kind of get three extra long issues telling uh, this story, and I'm glad it was uh, included in the Deadpool collection. But uh, I, uh, I did quite like this one, actually, even though, you know, of course, uh, in the Hulk one and the Spider-Man one, we don't hear all too much of what's going on with Deadpool. But I thought it was, it was a... The story threaded itself nicely throughout, and we did have stuff that was going on in Spider-Man's story continuing on into the next one. And um, uh, I did like Deadpool's sort of double cross. Y you can the thing it, the thing about Deadpool sort of taking someone's other uh, identity, you can kind of tell right away. Wait a minute, why does this character have have y the yellow dialogue bubbles that Deadpool has? And that'll just confuse you. And then of course later, oh, because Deadpool was dressed up as him and he blew him up. 
So, um, it gives away the surprise if you're gonna use the same color dialogue bubbles for a character, but at the same time, it's a comedy, so they, like letting you in on the joke ahead of time is, is part of the fun. So, um, and then uh, for the Hulk one, it was kind of a... Th there was a bit about the Hulk, but it felt like like Stephen Strange might have been in there more than, uh, than the Hulk, actually. But um, I've always, like, personally not been the biggest fan of the Hulk because... Well, I don't know. I haven't seen the movies. Maybe they portray a more serious thing. But um, uh, it's, it's one of those things where if the superhero version of you isn't sort of comprehensive and um, sort of can speak in an intelligible way, the same way as their alter ego can, then it kind of makes me think, like, I don't know, that he's a big dummy. It's hard to <laughs> big dummy. But, uh, no, I like this. Uh, it's definitely one of the uh, one of the better ones in, these, in this collection. So, I like this one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay cuddly.